Food tonight, a man is alive today thanks to the quick thinking and actions taken by a group of young lifeguards at a local Albuquerque pool. Monica Legronio met the heroes. So, Monica, first off, how did all this happen? Well, Trevor, a man in his mid 50s was swimming at the Sunport pool when suddenly he passed out, going unconscious in the water. Excuse me, a team of six at the community pool were able to work together to save his life. Our lifeguards pulled him out of the water, performed CPR and used an AED and because of their life saving measures, he is alive and doing well. A man is alive after nearly drowning June 24th at Sunport Pool. I look over to the left and lady behind me to the right said, hey, there's a guy been unconscious for a little while. Four lifeguards, a pool supervisor and a cashier worked together to save his life. Everyone had a specific role. Well, I helped clear the pool and then I started CPR. I was mainly on crowd control, so just making sure everyone stayed calm. Well, I kind of heard the long whistle, ran from here with the backboard to go help pull him out and start CPR as well. I was a supervisor on duty, so I was running scene management, making sure all the lifeguards knew what to do. I was first responder, which was responsible for getting the person and getting him to the wall and getting him out. Just made sure that emergency services got here on time, talked to the patrons, made sure everybody was okay. They say they all knew what to do because of their rigorous training. It's muscle memory. It feels like just the back of your hand. Every other week, they train for two hours on different scenarios. But the stakes are much higher in a real emergency. I mean, it was my first week, so <laughs> I was pretty panicked. You feel kind of like a hero because it matters. It matters that you're doing compressions right. You keep their heart going. You get them oxygen. I kind of had the adrenaline and then it slowly crashed and it was like that just kind of happened, you know. Um, but figuring out later on that he was okay, like, you know, let it sit in that we did our job to the best we could. Many of them want to be first responders or in the medical field and this experience solidified that passion for helping people. I still enjoy doing what I'm doing, enjoy saving lives and helping those in need. And definitely having to kind of like put both my worlds together really uh, made me solidify what I want to be. Now the man did have a heart condition and the team was notified. The city says it emphasizes the importance of sharing information like that. Tomorrow, Albuquerque Fire Rescue is recognizing the team for their life saving work. We'll be right back after this break.